one last spritz of my primer water and I'll show you So I have about 20 minutes before I got to leave t for work. So I just got out of the shower. I'm going to um, throw on a t-shirt real quick, put my hair up, and we will get started. Alrighty, so I'm first just going to brush my teeth. I use Pro Namel using whitening toothpaste. It's actually really bad for your teeth because it continuously breaks down your enamel. So for white teeth, I use Pro Namel toothpaste. And then I will just use um, a crest white strip. So brush my teeth right quick. Um, this is a little weird tip. I guess I'll just share with you guys my little weird tips that I do. Um, I always scrub my lips after I brush my teeth to exfoliate them. <laughs> um, if you do this, make sure that you use really good lip moisturizer afterwards, of course, because it can be very drying for your lips, just like it is very drying when you exfoliate your face. So that's done. I'm going to grab a white strip. I just have the crest. Whoa! What is going on here? I just have the crest illuminating brilliance white strips. I like these a lot. They, they really do um, show a huge difference. You wear them for 30 minutes. Don't ever exceed what it says on the package. So I'm going to throw these on. So these will sit as I do the rest of my face. See what I'm doing there, multitasking. So you wanna line them right where your tooth meets your gums, not any higher than that, because it can be irritating for your gums. So before you close your mouth, if you get a good seal on there, you won't get liquid in there and then you won't taste the whitening solution. Same thing for the bottom. So I'm just checking the time to be sure that I um, take them off in time. Starting off, I'm just gonna put on some lip balm. I just got this EOS like mint lip balm. I'm gonna really like heavily saturate my mouth with this. Okay, so for skincare, what I'm gonna do today is just two steps. I have a vitamin C serum. It's a face brightening serum. It's meant to even out your skin tone completely. This is a Zo Skin Health by Zian Obaji, who's a medical doctor. It's called O Essential C Brightening Serum. I was recommended this by my esthetician. I got a facial this summer and we talked about skincare and that's how I first started um, getting away from wearing makeup because she taught me how to properly take care of my face. So this can be a little bit irritating when you use it. You just want to rub it in, avoid your eyes because it can sting. Um, so your, your face might get a little bit red because it is chemically working under your skin. So don't be concerned by that. It goes away very briefly. So that is all rubbed in. It almost feels like an exfoliator the way that it goes onto your skin, you can feel it, it's a little bit rough. My second thing is my most favorite product that I own right now, it's SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Gel, Moisture Enhancing Gel Enriched with Vitamin B5. This is my moisturizer that I use, looks like that. What I do is I take the dropper, looks like this, take three drops, I put one on each finger, I don't know why, I do that every time, and then I will rub it in, on both my cheeks and then just distribute it around my face this feels so good it's like very has very light consistency um i never used to use moisturizers because i hate the way that they felt on my face like very heavy so this is like very gel like and it doesn't smell like anything the vitamin c serum smells like oranges so that's nice okay and then everything that i put on my face I always just smooth onto my neck and sometimes my chest. Next, I will move on to um, my makeup routine. What I'm going to use first is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. 
and this is a primer it works as a primer and then if you want to keep it one in your purse you could get a mini one and whenever um you know you have some time where you can do a quick spritz on your face it makes it very dewy very pretty so um, i use this as a primer and then i also freshen up with that so i just spray it all over my face i'm primed next thing i'm going to use is naked skin by urban decay so this is a hybrid complexion Perfector. So basically it's it's called one and done. It's supposed to be everything in one like a primer a sunscreen and Like kind of a tinted moisturizer but a little bit more coverage than that I use sunscreen every single day every time that I leave the house I if I don't have one in my makeup or if I'm not wearing any makeup. I use a skin sunscreen This is SPF 50 However, this is good tonight just because I'm gonna be inside all night So I'm gonna do three squirts of that Get my beauty blender, soak it, and see how it just expands. It's really big now. It's wet, so I ran it underneath the sink and I squeezed it. When you squeeze it and slowly open your hand back up, that's what allows it to soak in the water. So I'm going to take the big end of my beauty blender, just lightly dip it in the makeup, put it on my cheek, my other cheek. up my nose on my forehead you guys know how to apply makeup come on I don't know why I'm telling you all that okay now I'm just gonna blend it all out so beauty blenders are nice because it gives you a very like airbrush finish you don't get any brush strokes obviously you don't have a brush um, and you can do a lot of things with the beauty blender not just foundation not just liquid foundation you can do power foundation you can do bronzers highlighters i mean you can really do anything with a beauty blender so i i would say that's a very good investment and you use it every single day another thing is that it really pushes the product into your skin rather than just laying on top which i very much appreciate that okay so that's all blended out as you can see um it's very sheer coverage. You can still see my freckles. You can still see the redness in my cheeks a little bit. I'm a fan of full coverage when I'm going out or I have like an event. But for everyday use, I think this whole sheer makeup thing is it's definitely golden. One tip with your beauty blender, it's wet. So you have to let it dry. Sit on top of here like this or let it sit sideways so it every side can be exposed to the air. Don't ever put it right back in here, you have to shove it in because um, it doesn't get enough air to it and it will actually roll mold and harvest bacteria inside of your beauty blender. So let it dry out in the air sitting on top of this little pedestal. Next step now is to set my liquid foundation. Usually I would use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I've had this for a really long time and it's awesome. However, since I'm working, I want something that's a little bit more coverage, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to use a Cover FX N50 Pressed Mineral Foundation. Looks like this. It's almost gone, as you can see. Um, but it's just a, it's just a pressed powder. And I'm just going to put it a little bit just all over my face, like like so. And of course, onto my neck and my chest a little bit. This brush that I'm using is just a uh, airbrush, pro airbrush brush from Sephora. I've had this for years. It's awesome. I'm sure they still have the same one. They don't really change their brushes very frequently, so. Okay, so um, just to give you a little close up, there's my face. So now that I kind of have blank canvas, I want to create more depth in my face. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter to do those things. Um, you can call it contouring, but it's really just, it's a very mild form of contouring. First thing I'm going to use is my bronzer to create some structure. This is 
Laguna by NARS. Any of you that are familiar with this, you know that it's not really a contouring shade because it does have some shimmer to it. But since it's very light and my skin tone is naturally very light right now, um, I went with a lighter bronzer for my natural skin look. So first I'm going to use um, just a smaller brush. This is Sephora Airbrush Precision Foundation Brush. I'm going to use this to etch out my cheeks right under my cheekbone. Recently I have went from using the hollow of my cheeks, which is down here, moved up to be right under my cheekbone, and it actually is much more slimming for your face, if that's what you're going for, so. Just like a shadow, you want it to be heaviest towards your ear and then lighten up as you go in. Avoid anywhere from your corner of your mouth to like your pupil because that's when it's noticeable that's when people it looks like you're wearing a beard kind of or you have a dirty face so I try to stay in the second half of my cheek and I don't go any lower than that especially when using such a small brush so this is I'm much more precise in the way that I'm doing it right now so just a little bit on the sides of my nose and then Right under my lips on my chin and I'm also gonna take it with this bigger fluffier brush this is a also a pro precision powder brush it's much bigger it's a 59 from Sephora I'm a big fan of their makeup brushes if you couldn't tell I think they're very reliable and I think that the quality of them is very high so taking a bigger brush I'm gonna kind of blend that out on my cheek and with the bigger brush, you can take it a little bit further in on your face just because it's not so concentrated. And then um, with the bigger brush, I can take it on my temples and up into my hairline on my forehead. Like so. So you can see some structure come back into my face now that I've used a little bit of bronzer. Okay, nice. With that, I'll also take it onto my neck in the kind of creases next to my trachea. And also, since I'm not gonna be wearing a tank top, uh, I'll put it right here in the hollows of my collarbone. Just gives you, like I said, a little bit more structure. And right underneath your jawline. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna take a blush brush. I'm gonna use my Tarte Exposed. This is a very nice shade of blush. <sighs> a very rosy shade, not too bright. Um, not, not incredibly pigmented, but it just doesn't come off a lot onto your brush at once, which is good because you can always put more blush on. But for me, I find that if I to put too much blush on, it's hopeless. So I like that it comes off in small doses. So i got some on my brush. I'm just going to smile, put it on the apples of my cheeks, and also carry it up into my line. So you can see just in this lighting here where the light hits my face, that's where I'm going to put my highlighter. So I'm going to avoid that area with my blush. My blush is going to go right under that, right along this line. So between my bronzer and my highlighter. Now for my highlighter, um, for a full face makeup look, I like to use a lot of highlighter. I think it's very pretty, but I am sticking to just very small amounts because that's a dead giveaway that you're wearing makeup if you're shimmering in the light. So I'm going to just put a tiny bit right here on the very outer edges of my cheekbones. Again here. Um, if you're wondering what the heck kind of highlighter I'm using because it's gorgeous. This is Champagne Pop by Becca. I know you've heard of it before if you've ever watched any YouTube video ever. 
you know that this is the most gorgeous shade of highlighter. I'm a big fan of golds in my highlighters. People say that if you have light tint skin tone, you're not supposed to use it, but totally disagree. I think gold is um, the prettiest way to do a highlighter. So I'm gonna take, so I did that with a sculpting brush actually, so because it's exactly the shape of my cheekbone right here. Boop, boop, boop. And then I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is an airbrush concealer actually from Sephora, but that's not how I'm using it because it's the perfect size to do my inner corners, my nose, my upper lip. So we're going to put it right here, inner corner of your eye, and then I'm going to put it there, right under my eyebrow, eyebrow, and then I'm actually going to take it and put it right on the center of my eye lid because I'm doing a new natural face today I'm not gonna use any kind of uh, I'm not gonna use any kind of eyeshadow colors I'm just gonna stick with the colors that I'm using on my face so it's very fluid I guess you could say I'm gonna do on my cupid's bow right here right above my lip there's really there's really hang on this really just accentuates your lip, makes them look more full and prettier. And then I just, I'll put it down there just to be a little pouty. Then I'm gonna take some right here on the end of my nose and just swipe it up like that. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna use my blush color on my eyelid with a fluffy, not a fluffy brush, with just a eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it along my crease here and on this side as well and bring it in. So the way that I'm doing this, it's like a V coming this way and a V coming this way. So one thing that I've learned um, recently actually is way that my eyes are structured instead of doing my crease straight in right where it is I do up so it really opens up my eyes a lot I'll show you an example I'm gonna use my bronzer that I used on my cheeks and put it in so I have my brush facing up so it is creating the shadow underneath my eyebrow bone only rather than on my actual eyelid so this really opens my eyes up And yeah. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take a little spoolie brush, get them all in the right direction. And I don't want to do much to them tonight since, like I said, I'm going for a very natural look. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder, the duo. This is in ebony because my hair is quite dark. Um, I've used this since I was in middle school, so I, I've always loved this. I just get a new one. I can You keep it for like six months. It lasts so long. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit. This is my Anastasia figures. This is a brush that's got a spoolie on one end and a very angled, very skinny angled brush on the other, which you cannot see. Anyways, I'm just, I'm not going to do any on the inner corners of my eyebrows, but on the outer corners, I'm just going to do a little teensy bit just to make them, just because my, the powder from my face got on them, so they look a little bit blonde because my hair's grabbed onto that powder, so I'm just going to. Get a little bit more structure on them real quick. If you're going for a natural look, powder is definitely the way to go. I love a gel brow. I have a dip brow from Anastasia as well, but that's a more structured, very solid brow, whereas this is, like I said, more natural. Now I'm just kind of brushing it onto the hairs in the very center. Get 
that and there you have it right there so you can see that brow just looks a little bit more defined this one a little bit sad Um, one thing about eyebrows that I can recommend is never to do them in a mirror that's super close up. You have to always be able to see both eyebrows at all times because that's how you wind up with eyebrows that don't look related. So I got on my brows. I'm going to take that brow powder and do a tiny little eyeliner on the outer corners of my eye right on my lashes. So instead of using the brush like this, I'm going to use it like this right as my ash my lashes grow into my skin because that makes it a very tight line and I'm going to carry it into the center so I guess really the first two-thirds of my eye the outer two-thirds and it gives you a very natural eyeliner look just a like a lash enhancing eyeliner and on the other side I'm just kind of patting it on rather than than uh, sliding it across. Okay, I'm gonna take two different mascaras. First is going to be the L'Oreal Telescopic. Second is Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, this is for length, this is for volume. So I just use one and the other. I'm gonna curl my lashes very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. And then I just make little crunches as I come up to give it a curl rather than my eyelashes going like, eh, eh. it gives them a nice curl. So you can see what a difference it makes when you curl your eyelashes. Now with the L'Oreal. If you look down at a mirror or you tilt your head up, you're going to get less of those black marks on your eye uh, eyelid. So near the roots, I shake it, and then I just glide it up. It's a natural look. So I'm just gonna... And now, I don't want to shimmy them, because I don't want them to stick together. I just want to glide it on. Okay, so you can see the difference in my eyelashes. These are obviously a lot more full over here. And then if you ever get a little bit too much product on, rather than trying to use your mascara wand to fix it, it often can make it clump further. So just use a clean spoolie to work out any tangles. Now for the other eye. Telescopic, take my Too Faced, my face is all done, so that's what my face looks like. <laughs> Last thing but not least is my lips, so I'm going to take off my white strips and, and, uh, Hang on. Look at me. I look like Chit Skylark. Always, always, always brush your teeth off after you put on your white strips. Otherwise, it actually sits on your teeth and it makes them super, super sensitive and it's very bad for your enamel. Okay. Now, I'm going to wipe off my mouth. I'm going to take off the moisturizer that I had on there. Now my lips are bare. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Primer. It looks like this. I've used one from MAC before, but this seems to have lasted me so long. It's like a really big tube and same price. So um, I put this on before any lip color and it lasts a long time. And then me, I really only like to wear matte on my lips unless I put a lip gloss on top. So I like it because matte lip 
lip products can be very drying and with this lip primer on um, your lips don't get dried out and look like this Sahara Desert. So I've got my most favorite color as of late um, lip product is Soar by MAC Cosmetics. Um, I use the Soar Lip Crayon and the Mare Lip Stick. <laughs> I'm losing it. My lipstick, lip color. So here's my natural lip color with the primer on. Um, I pat my lips a little bit just so that it's not, so I can push it into my lips and then also so that it's not a really thick layer on my lips. Otherwise, this isn't matte and it will slide all around. So I have a weird, uh, I have a dog bite over here from when I was younger. So I have to find ways to camouflage it. All right guys, sorry about that. My camera said that it was getting too hot. I'm just gonna put on my lipstick real quick. I just put on my little outfit uh, in the downtime. So, got my lips on. So, this is the final product, what it looks like. Um, the lips are a little bit bold. It's, it's a good color for a natural face, but a little bit bold. Um, but it's a long wear type of look, so I'm not too concerned with it. One last spritz of my primer water, and I'll show you. Where the heck? Here it is. My teeth. See how well those white strips work? I mean, they're super white. So I live across from a bunch of, I think, seniors. So I see them all drink, day drinking today. It's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. So everyone's, I think everyone's kind of getting back into the swing of things, celebrating. School starts on Monday. Um, our balcony is so pretty. I want to show you guys. So look at this view that we have. We have a little Juliet balcony. And I mean, look at that view. How pretty is that? Like it looks like a rainforest, kind of, if you look above the buildings. It's beautiful. So thank you guys for watching today. I know it wasn't a typical vlog. It wasn't really a vlog today. It was just a little short experience and I, What else? I got a little bit organized for school. Tomorrow is Sunday and I'm going to wake up, have a little bit of a, um, like a spa day for myself. And then I'm gonna drive home. Home is about an hour away. I'm gonna drive home and see my family and we're gonna watch um, my favorite show of all time. It's called The Night Of on HBO. My favorite show. So we're gonna watch that together tonight. My sister's gonna go and meet us there. I don't know if Steve's coming, but my mom and dad will be there as well. And then I'll see Max and Emma, my younger siblings. So, yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I love Sundays because my family and I always go to church together. Um, and actually our favorite church opened up a campus up here in West Lafayette. So um, Ashley and I have talked about going there during the school year now. Um, so we'll go to church and then we just go home and relax. You know, sometimes we'll go to the gym, but most times we just go home and chill out, put our pajamas on, and Sundays is like when I like to do my kind of like spa day for my skin and my hair. You guys know I'm into that. Um, I am going to leave for work now, and it, I actually probably won't be there for long tonight. I'm just food running again. I offered to come in because they said that they needed me, so I, um, I told my boss that I would come. Today I just want to do something like something simple but something that also explains me um 
fitness is huge for me, but beauty and health is also very big. So I really love beauty. I love makeup products and hair products. Always been very interested in that ever since I was really young. So I have that aspect of my life to share with you guys as well. So I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of that today. What I want most for this channel to be for you guys is kind of like a one-stop shop. Like I, I want to be able to be a resource when it comes to everything. I'm certainly not an expert in anything, but I do think that I'm very well-rounded and I have a lot of, um, you know, good amount of skills in a lot of different areas. So I definitely think that I have a lot to offer and bring to this channel and um, to share with you guys and hopefully inspire you to try some things out, try something new. I have beauty stuff to do, fitness, um, and health, balance, and college, study skills if you want. Um, you know, I could, I mean, anything. Like, I study business, so um, anything from resumes to interviews, if you guys have any questions or if you want me to talk about anything along those lines, um, I'd love to do that, too. I worked in sales over the summer at a Toyota dealership. I sold over 35 cars in two months. Um, I really exceeded my own expectations as well as everyone around me, so I was very proud of that, and I learned so much in the process. So now I have my school background and my education and then also some real life, you know, real world experience background as well. Okay, I'm gonna head to work. I'll probably talk to you guys afterwards, but if not, have a good day.